Hi Leo, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a reading to find out what's going to be happening for you over the next 72 hours, okay? So this is for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My name is Harley and this is Manifest Leo 13. I post all Leo content here, so if you would like to continue to see Leo readings on my page, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment and like and let me know if you guys really enjoy the content. Uh, I really appreciate all the comments y'all came through on the last video. I really appreciate that. YouTube was trying to come through and block your girl, but we, 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 we readjusted, okay? So let's see what's going to be happening for Leo over the next 72 hours. Can't show the cards first. <laughs> I have to make sure that there's nothing even remotely crazy on these cards because they will try to restrict my stuff, okay? So we have fire element desire then we have cancer at the bottom of the deck so some of you guys could be uh dealing with a cancer okay you could be dealing with a fire sign like yourself some of you may actually be cancers in vedic or sidereal astrology so that's a double confirmation for some of you um but aries leo sagittarius energy may be relevant for you over the next 72 hours so i feel like you guys are really motivated over the next 72 hours uh you're really working from your heart space okay um, you know, you're really making sure that whatever you're doing right now, you're putting your soul into it. You're not really doing things if you don't feel like it, like, which is important. I'm not saying like, oh, you're being lazy. I'm saying like, you're not just posting content for the sake of posting content, or you're not just, you're, you're working on creative projects. You're working on things that really mean something to you. And even at work, you know what I'm saying? If it's not your job, if it's something you're not need to be worried about, you're worried about what your passions are at this time. If you are working at a job that you just really don't like, and you feel like, you know, this doesn't inspire me. You may be reconsidering, is this the job for me? Does this, you know, make me want to get up every morning? And, you know, if you can't leave your job, that's fine. I'm not saying you have to leave your job in the next 72 hours. I'm saying that um, you may decide that you want to start something on the side. Yep, the Ace of Wands energy. That's exactly what I'm getting in my head. So some of you may be deciding to start a business, okay? Or um, if you already have a business, you can expect really good growth over the next 72 hours, possibly new clients. Um, okay, so let's see what's happening for Leo over the next 72 hours. What does Leo need to know for the next 72 hours, Spirit? This is a timeless reading, so whenever you watch it, it may resonate for you, okay? If you need a personal reading, please check out the description box. I do offer phone readings. I offer tarot coaching, life coaching. I am, I am offering a service where you can get four readings a month for a great price. So make sure you guys are checking out the link in the description box, okay? So we have the death card. We have the High Priestess, okay? So, yeah. You are sensing that a change is needed, okay? If you haven't already made a change, you'll be thinking about it over the next 72 hours. We have the Two of Cups. And let's get one more card for Leo. And I'm just going to look at it off of the camera just because I don't want to, like, <laughs> you know, turn it over and it's the judgment card again or something, <laughs> all right, which was completely ridiculous, but I'm on YouTube's platform, so I have to follow their rules, you know, all right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the three of pentacles, so some of you may be in my tarot class that, I mean, my magic candle magic class that I'm having uh, this, this Friday, um, or you may be in a tarot class or you're learning how to utilize your skills, like I said, there's a change coming in your life, um, if you're single right now and you're really focused on purpose, you're really focused on your career, just know that the changes that you are making right now is going to help you get into a relationship. Okay. Um, and I'm not saying that you're worried about that. The high priestess to me is someone who's not really concerned about that, but just know that you may meet someone through work or the person that you wind up with, you may collaborate with them on a project or a business. Okay. Just with the two of cups here, influencing the reading. Uh, this is very similar to a reading I did on my uh, Harley the Medium page on Instagram. I had a subscribers only reading today and we had the four of wands influencing. So there's been a lot about partnerships lately. There's a There's been a lot about working together. Okay, I know that I've been collaborating on a lot of things. There's actually a lot going forward that I'm going to be collaborating on more. So collaborations are going to be important. You're really going to be thinking, okay, who is on my team? I call it the purge team, right? <laughs> like who is your ride or dies? Like who are your people that you feel like you can come up with? Um, I'm hearing the song Choosy Lover. I know that wasn't originally by Leah, but I'm hearing Aaliyah's virgin in my head. So um, I think that applies not only to your relationships, but 
who you're allowing in your circle, who you feel like you can build with at this time. So it's like thinking of a master plan. That's what I just heard in my head too. So you guys are really focused on the future. And I feel like spirit is right there with you. Like the ace of wands energy, definitely. Like you guys are in magician mode. You're in high priestess mode. You're like, I'm cooking up something and it's going to be great. So creativity is flowing at this time. Money making opportunities are coming in. Uh, your mind is on your money. And I love this because it's telling me that you guys are going to be successful. You sense that a change is coming in. You're getting into alignment. Um, you're not afraid. There's no fear here. Okay. So you're fired up, Leo. You feel excited. You have a plan and you're going to put it into action. So this is really good. Okay. Now, what I feel like for love over the next 72 hours, it, there could be a conversation with someone about making things official, um, about being more closer together, or like I said, working together. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody who's really inspired to work with you at this time because they can sense that you're on the up and up. Like they can sense that you're going, um, the right direction. Okay. So there may be a conversation with someone here that changes the dynamic of the relationship. For a lot of you, this is someone that is not official with already. With the Three of Pentacles, this is someone that you could be dating right now, but it's not, you know, official. This could be someone that you have friends with benefits with. This can be somebody that you've had kind of a situation with, but you've always felt like there was a soulmate connection with this person. So I just feel like there could be a change over the next 72 hours through a conversation, okay? And with the high priestess here, you guys already know that this is coming, okay? Um, especially for my fire magicians and priestesses, the, those who are working with candle magic or spell work, whatever you're doing to manifest your life. You know, I know some people are like, oh my God, I don't do spell work. Well, that's not for you, but you know, myself and others, those who of you who use the elements to manifest your reality, you kind of already know that you're manifesting this for yourself. If you're man in the, you, you may not know the specifics you may not even know who the person is yet because what I mean by that is y'all have different options with the three of pentacles you're like I don't really know which person is going to step up um but I feel like most of you kind of have a feeling deep down with the high priestess you may you, you just may be like okay here's the confirmation like okay here's the conversation that I've been expecting or you know here's the person coming in so that's what I'm getting, um, that there's going to be a conversation, okay? So we're going to flip this over. We have the Ace of Swords. So that's what I said by a conversation, clarity. Um, like I said, if you've been writing petitions or you've been asking the universe to, you know, bring in things, scripting, you know, vision boards, whatever, this is your Ace of Swords. That's your confirmation that your petitions, your manifestations have been heard by the universe, okay? So let's see. Clarify this Ace of Swords for Leo. Let's see. Where is this conversation going to go? Like I said, for a lot of you, I feel like the dynamic is changing between you and someone and things are becoming more serious, okay? And that's because you've been really focused on yourself. You're like, you know, if somebody wants to be with me, they'll step up. They'll they'll put their money where their mouth is. They'll Their actions will match their words, etc. You are not feeling the need to chase or run after anything, okay? You're just like, I know what's coming for me and I don't need to worry about it. So we have the four of cups here. I don't know if you're gonna be open to taking this offer right away. Like I said, y'all have off, y'all have options here, the four of cups, okay? Some of you, there could be someone that you're thinking about divorcing and they want to like try to fix things, but I don't think that you're ready. So for those of you who are ready to let someone go, like you're ready to divorce them, you're ready to move out, whatever the case may be, you're going to appreciate the fact that they've came to you with this, but I don't think that you're going to accept it. So those that's for those of you who know that your soulmate is someone else in, rather than the person you're with right now, okay? So if you know that you want to move on to somebody else, you're not going to accept that offer. Yep, the Nine of Pentacles. So um, some of you are going to decide to remain single or you're going to give this person a hard time at the very least. I don't see you just taking their offer right away But the Nine of Pentacles. Um and the Ten of Cups is so interesting to me because these are two totally different cards. The Ten of Cups is a relationship card. And then the Nine of Pentacles is like, yeah, but I'm still out here, you know, single, looking great, you know, doing my own thing. So what I'll say is you may not take this person's offer right away. You may just wait to see, especially when Venus goes direct in October, when Sept yeah, uh, Mercury goes direct because Mercury just literally went to retrograde uh, today as I'm filming this. So you may not just take their offer right away. A lot of you are spiritual. You know what time it is or you've been listening to my readings where I've been telling y'all don't make any decisions in, until October if you can because, you know, the two planets that are really ruling money and communication right now are retrograde. So 
I don't, I, I, eventually you will decide who you want to be with, with the 10 of cups here. I'm not going to show that lover's card because Lord. Yeah, but I feel like with the lover's card, the five of wands is showing itself to me and the three of cups. Um, you're going to kind of see, okay, well, is this, are you really serious about this? You know, for those of you who are leaving a relationship, like I said, the nine of pentacles is you deciding to be single and you're going to move on and be with someone else, especially for those of you who are getting divorced. You're going to wind up being with another person. If, even if you have children, you're going to wind up being in a blended family. Okay, so for those of you who are maybe getting a divorce as well, I feel like you're going to have some sort of like spousal support or you're going to be awarded something. So if you've been wondering if you're going to get child support, spousal support, or if you're going to come up after a divorce or an ending, yes, after a breakup. Okay, some of you, that's what was blocking your money is being with the wrong person too long. Okay, so... Um, I do have one more message, though, if this applies to a job opportunity um, and you're not sure if you want to take it or, you know, what I'm saying like me, I'm working on a project with a company right now and I just don't like the way that they're operating. And I want to just like leave the contract and be like, this ain't y'all didn't uphold y'all end of the bargain. So why am I? But I'm just going to kind of sit back and see what they do. Like I said, it's retrograde. So um, if you any decisions that you have to make about your money, career, business, you will make the right decision. You will come up with the nine of pentacles. Like I said, you're in your power right now, Leo. So your intuition is on point. You are very powerful at this time. Some of you are watching the right readers. If you don't read yourself, you're getting the right insight. Okay. So that's your message for the next 72 hours. That's what you need to know. Um, you can't play too hard to get. You will not miss an opportunity. Someone will keep trying if they really are serious. If it's a money making opportunity, you will get the best deal out of it okay you will get your money you will come up okay so thank you all so much leo uh, i appreciate the support please comment below let me know if this resonated come back in 72 hours let me know if this conversation happens whether this is with your boss whether this is with a business or your person and i love you all i will see y'all soon peace